welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you're an OD welcome back all right guys so first things first is her diaper bag <laughs> super big super big I do like it though it's very girly and it has a bow in front so I thought that was a nice touch but it's polka dot and pink on the outside and it is floral on the inside this is by Betsy Johnson. So super cute. And the thing that I do love also on the front of the bag, it has a, um, it looks like a little coin purse, but it's actually a pacifier. Well, I use it as a pacifier holder. So and it's super cute. Look at that. Super cute, right? But I use that for her pacifier holder. Um, some will probably use it as a coin purse or you know just whatever you want to use it for but i put her pacifier her extra pacifiers in there um for when we're on the go and stuff so it holds those which is good let me see this mommy let me see so her diaper bag comes with a changing mat if yours doesn't um you can simply go just buy one from um yeah. walmart target whatever or you can order it offline whatever you want to do but i think i like it matches her bag so it's hook it out on the outside and floral on the inside and i like that the inside is it's very easy to clean so all you have to do is get like a um disinfectant wipe a germex wipe wipe it off and you're good to go here you go mommy i'm sorry <laughs> um so yeah the next thing is wipes you gotta have the wipes this one is the cloud island brand um you can get these from target i actually really really love this brand um for my baby shower somebody got me a pack and this was the first pack i opened and used on her when i brought her home and i fell in love since then so it is hyperallergenic gotta have that dermatologist tested no animals are tested on it so that's also good it's, it's good it's good huh <laughs> yeah um so they're 99 percent water and plant-based ingredients the plant-based ingredients is coconut oil organic coconut oil so that's also good and so um it also has the national eczema.org thing on here as well i love that as well because her dad has eczema and i don't know i just keep stuff like that in mind because you just never know rather be safe than sorry um <clears throat> excuse me we have tried other wipes and stuff um that i pretty much kind of like like and stuff but um that one by far is my favorite so next we have is pampers you gotta have pampers in your bag um these are pampers um the brand pampers <laughs> um but i actually i like pampers and i like huggies um again going through trial and error i probably would prefer huggies only because um the is it huggly uh, snugglers i think i like that brand i like how the back part is like kind of like stretchy and it can like fit the baby's like back part i i don't know i like that <clears throat> but i also like pampers pure and it was another brand that by pampers i liked but I don't know, I pay attention to textures and like how it's made. Um, I know with like the Pampers Pure, like the inside has like a net looking. I don't know. To me, it's just certain things that are just pleasing to the eye. So, yeah. <laughs> She's talking more for you guys today. But um, also, I keep clothes in her bag. Um, so we have the extra bib. This one says daughter of a queen. Super cute. I don't know. I just feel like that fits her because if you don't know, I was Miss Texas Plus America 2018. So, you know, it just fits, you know. I also keep an extra onesie short sleeve um, in her bag because you just never know. Um, 
where you can be or the climate that it is in there and you know with babies they can get cold pretty fast so you just want to make sure you have something for everything you know and then i'll also keep a long sleeve um onesie in there too it says love ain't that cute um the consistency on the texture i mean for this it's kind of thick it's really thick so i like that i know mommy so like i said if it's cold wherever you are this one would be a good one like you know a good long sleeve can never go wrong and then also again depending on where you at um you want to make sure you also have an outfit in the bag i keep an outfit in the bag um this is just like a little one piece um it has like flowers and stuff on it which is cute something simple it's just like a quick little you know outfit change or whatever you want to do gotta get her ready <laughs> but i also keep a burping cloth or um, two in her bag you never know a little spit up action or something um she is getting older but she's still a baby so you know you want to be safe and also an extra pair of socks i actually have two pair in her bag i have a pink pair to match i know mommy to match the pink um outfit and then i have a pair of white ones i want to find some black ones because i don't know they don't get dirty as or they don't show the dirt whatever as easy um i also keep this is by banana boat simply protect baby this is some sunscreen i keep in her bag um you can see if you can um yeah let's go this way but yeah by banana boat um she used this probably maybe two or three times um so all this is just shake it and then spray it on her um when i use it honestly when it comes out like it it coats her skin really good so it's not bad we haven't really just went um somewhere that we were in the sun for maybe like one time but not like for a lot um we haven't been somewhere for her to be in the sun that much so we don't really use this that much but like i said you'd rather be safe than sorry um and I guess it could stay on for a good two hours and then you reapply it, which isn't bad. So it just depends on where you're at. Um, I also keep, um, I don't know what you call these. I call them nose suckers, but um, I keep one for her mouth and then I keep one for her nose. I'm that mom that just, I don't know. I don't want to use the same one for anything. It's kind of gross. So I keep one for each and then by them being different colors, I can differentiate what's for what. I know. Food. Also, I keep, um, I don't know what this is either, but you could put fruit in it, um, particularly the fruit that they can't just swallow just yet, like, um, oranges, grapes, like something with skin, like a barrier on it. You could put it in this and they can chew on it. So it gets the juices out. So they get the nutrients. They just don't eat the skin which could be not you know not good for them so and then the little ring is small enough for them to hold you want it mommy she's already trying to put it in her mouth there's no food in it there's no food in it but yeah you like those huh i usually put like her little um i made her some like homemade popsicles so she knows what time it is when she sees those next thing i keep in her bag is some boogie wipes when i first seen these i thought they were just so gross because i was like ew boogie wipes but these are made with natural saline um there's no scent on them so but we haven't used these yet because she hasn't really gotten to the point where she needed them but i bought them for just in case you know when you're on the go like i said i don't want to use her wipes for everything i want her wipes to be for her hiney and then we have the boogie wipes for her nose and then i want to get some wipes for just like you know clean up so i also keep these these are pacifier wipes by munchkin oh this is by munchkin as well here you go mommy but um 
I keep these in her bag. You can wipe off her pacifier bottles, cups, and teething toys, which I think is super cool because I didn't even know they had these at first until I was um, at Target because that's where I got these from. I was at Target. What was I getting, Mommy, from Target? Probably some more Pampers and stuff. But um, I was at Target and I seen these and I was like, oh my God. She can definitely use those because her, um, her pink um, pacifiers, they come with a cover thing to put on it. But not all her pacifiers do. So this is a, a really good find. I also keep some Germex wipes in her bag. You can see I've been using these a lot. Um, didn't even know they sold these either until my brother gave me a pack. So he said he got these from Dollar Tree, I think. So got to get some more of those because to me, they're just super duper convenient in my opinion, you know, especially when you're trying to clean up and do all that stuff. I also keep Q-tips in her bag. Um, they're in like a little pocket of her, of her bag. I keep Q-tips in there. I don't really want to touch them, but. I keep those in there because, like I said, you never know. You want to be safe then, sorry. Um, for me, I keep some lotion, some regular Dove lotion for myself. Um, it's a little small, it's like a small little package. Keep that in there for myself because when you're, you know, cleaning baby, your hands can get a little ashy. I know. You like that? You're just going to play with everything I pull out. And I keep a little scratchy in there as well. Like I said, if I had to be safe, then sorry. But by her bag being so big, I can um, put a lot of things in there. So, next we have this little kit. This is, I know, this is the safety first kit. Um,. I'm sure they sell it at Target too, but most majority of the time I see it at um, Walmart. So um, the Safety First kit, this is the deluxe version, so it came with more um, things in there. But I keep her stuff in there, but I also add it. Let me see, mommy. <laughs> her medicines. I add her medicines in there, so I have her Tylenol, her um, Zarbies, uh, like the cough syrup, Vicks, saline. Um, she has another nose sucker in there. She has so many. I put her vitamin D drops in there, her thermometer, like all of this. It's like her medicine cabinet in this side. And then on this side, I put her comb, her brush, her fingernail clippers, and her ointments and stuff like diaper rash cream. Uh, what else is in here? Um, the Aquaphor um, healing ointment and stuff like that. And then eczema cream keep all of that in there and then it I don't know it just keeps it all together so I just think that's dope um we also have some snacks um I usually keep these in a container I'll show you in a second but these are the little journeys blueberry puffs puffed grain snacks we actually just recently tried these I just opened them she don't really like them that much um I don't know. I tasted one. I don't really like them that much either, but you know, she'll probably get used to it. She's used to the um, strawberry um, apple one, so mm. I know, mommy. Do you want one? Boop. Grab one. There you go. Well, she grabbed one, so we'll see. Mommy put some more on her leg, okay? <clears throat> and they're shaped like little hearts, which is kind of cute. <clears throat> so we have some of those. Um, I usually keep them in a container like this for on the go, so she doesn't eat like the whole thing. But um, I just put a couple in there. So that's the container I actually put them in when we're on the go. <clears throat> somehow the bottle ended up in there I don't know and then I also keep another container for her Cheetos <clears throat> something is in my throat they look like this um kind of like um you want one of those too <laughs> um kind of like the um 
Sound like a Cheeto puff? I don't know. But a baby version. These are the white cheddar brand. <clears throat> I think those are by Little Journeys as well. Um, I don't really care for the the white cheddar. I like the veggie ones. She likes the veggie ones too. But she's smacking down on them right now. So, um, another thing I keep is food in her bag. But the thing with the food, I'm gonna sit you right here, mommy. Um, I actually prefer to have something that's more convenient to use if that makes sense like um there you go like these the squeezables um i prefer to use these this is by happy tot organics happy tot um this one's the fiber protein it has organic pears raspberries carrots butternut squash and then this one is the super bellies by the same brand this one's the Immune and Digestive Support Blend. It's organic pears, beets, and blackberries. Um, I try to keep squeezables in there. To me, on the go, when it's time to eat, it's easier to just feed. My personal opinion, instead of just bringing, like, a container with a spoon and, you know, I don't know. But it just depends on the age of your, your baby. She's at the point where she can, like, use these, so, I don't know. It just depends on your, your kid. Here you go, mommy. Um, what else do I have in here? I also keep blankets for, again, if it gets cold. A baby's temperature is different from us, so they might get colder a little faster than we do. So I keep a, a, a bigger blanket, but this one's thinner. So pink, and it has, like, polka dots on it. Cute. And then I also keep a thicker one in her bag as well. Like I said, rather safe than sorry. <clears throat> oh, some more snacks. These are the Plum Organics Tinsy Snacks. Um, I actually just bought this for her. They're kind of like, they're like soft fruit snacks, but they're like, um... Like, easier for her to eat, if that makes sense. Here you go, mommy. Sis it. Thank you. Okay. So, of course, we have bottles in her in her bag. These are the Philips Avent. Um, they come... Well, this pack came with um, more than one bottle, so... But I keep the short ones for when she eats her squeezables and then she's still kind of hungry i feed her a smaller bottle i have a bigger bottle too but she used it so i have to clean it but um i keep a bigger one and a smaller one with me um depending on what type of feed a bigger feed or smaller feed um i know i know mommy we have a lot of stuff um so yeah i keep that in there and lastly, um, I keep a folder of her important documents. Just my personal opinion. You don't have to do that. That's just something I carry with me. Only because she does have to go to the doctor, like doctor's appointments and things like that. And it's just easier to have in the bag for her to, um, like when we're there, it's easier to get the papers that we need and then give her the papers that she needs. I don't know, it's just easier in my opinion. You don't necessarily have to put that in your diaper bag. That's just my personal opinion. Whatever floats your boat, honey. But yeah, that's honestly it for what I have in her her diaper bag. It seems like a lot of quite a bit of stuff, but like I said, you'd rather be safe than sorry. And her bag is big enough to have or fill like those things in there. So I know mommy here. So it's, it's totally up to you what you want to put in there. Um, I will link everything that I have down below for you guys. So if you want to see, oh, like, oh, I want that item. I'll link all of that down below and where I got it. So I'll put it to where, like, if I got it from Walmart, I'll just list all my Walmart products. And then I, if I got it from Target, I'll list the Target products. So I'll list all of that down below for you guys um, so you can see. Yeah. Mommy, were you eating on this? But, um, yeah, so 
that's it for today's video guys if you like this video be sure to give it a big 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 thumbs up yeah tell a big thumbs up say big thumbs up mommy <laughs> yeah and if you haven't already go ahead and follow me on all social medias i'll link that down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and what else mommy what are you looking good mm. nothing else okay but i'll see you guys in my next video bye say bye bye you gonna tell them bye yay <laughs> gorilla on the track